Hey guys, this short video demonstrates how to operate ProScore from a touchscreen as well as an infrared remote control. For detailed explanation, please refer to my other videos. Now we press this button that says Snooker Scoreboard. And we'll skip this step here and continue. Now here we enter the names of the player. So let's get this on-screen keyboard by pressing that little icon here and we'll enter the name of the player and when you finish click go match number one and now we enter the scoreboard. So to start the frame, usually what we do is to start the clock. So that's the frame clock. We click this area and the clock starts. And now the player start the frame and they play in turn. So when the first player didn't make a port and the second player comes to the table, you activate this area. So the point or any point will be added to this area and so on. So we will just keep rotating the player, whoever comes to the table, he got the white banding box surrounding his area. Now say the first ball is ported, which is of course the red ball. So we press the red ball icon and the next ball would surely be a color ball. So let's say he put a blue ball after that, so we press blue and then he will carry on with the break and so on. And after he put a color ball, you can't add another color ball because you have to put a red ball after that. And that's why you have to put the red before you put the color ball. And this is the rule of the game, isn't it? So when he finishes break, then it will be the second, pl the, the next player who comes onto the table will get this um, surrounding um, waste box here. So we just click through those to indicate who is, who is playing on the table. Now, um, let's say um, this guy, player 2, he made a foul shot. So he's giving away 4 points. Let's say 4 points to player number 1. So um, to do that with the touch screen, you will have to um, go to the menu and make a foul points awarded to the player. So to do that, you click the pawns word here. And now we have a little menu here that says foul, which is the F button. So you get the, press the F button once. And now you decide how many pawns you are going to give to the first player. And in this case, he made a foul and that is four pawns. So you click the brown ball. So four points has been added to the first player and the game carry on. Now, um, this is not the only way to enter the score by potting or, or entering pawns after every pot. You can actually add the total break pawns when the break is finished. And to do that, you click the break word and then you enter the total number of pawns um, in the break. So let's say for example, he made a break of 12 pawns. So you enter 12 and then add break. And 12 pawns will be added to this player. So let's say player number two, he had made a break of 23. So I press the break word and enter 23 and add break. So this way is a lot easier if you are playing non-competition or just casual games. Then this, was, this is a handy way that you can enter the score after the break is finished. So it's up to you. You can mix both methods within the game. Or you can add the total break point if you want to. And the difference between these two methods will be explained in another video. So let's say this frame is finished, so we need to end the frame. 
and the right way to end the frame is to press W and to confirm the frame is finished. So to do that, we go back to the menu by clicking the pawns word and the W here is the win frame button. So we press W and this screen here is the summary. It's like a frame information screen. So here, if we decided that uh, this is the end of frame, we'll press the green button and the scoreboard will be reset waiting for the next frame to start. And you'll see there's a small number here under this uh, final score and that's the highest break. So if this guy made several breaks that's over 20 points, then they will be listed here. So any break above 20 points will be regarded as high break. So the high breaks will be shown on this summary summary screen. So let's say this frame is finished and of course the winner would be Matthew. And when I f confirm, his frame score will be added by one. So let's see what happened when I press this green button. So here we go. He got one frame and the scoreboard it's just reset. So now, while I'm here, I'll show you how you operate ProScore with a remote control. This remote control can be bought on eBay quite cheaply. And um, this is, it comes with an USB receiver as well as the remote control. So what I'm going to do is to plug this infrared remote control into the computer. So give me a few seconds. Okay, we are done. And don't be scared by the remote control or the look of it because we are not using all the buttons. This is actually a media remote control and that's why it got so many buttons. This is like a third party remote control. And we are only using well, most, the most button we are going to use will be the lower half and not <laughs> everything on, on the remote because that's too scary. Okay, anyway, um, to use the remote control, the first time you plug the USB receiver in, you should press the blue button once. Otherwise, those arrow buttons will act like a mouse and we don't want to act like a mouse. We want to act like a keyboard. So here is here's the remote control. So to score the points, you just press the numbers buttons here. So let's say Matthew, uh, well, we should start the clock, right? Um, we start the clock, we, we press this uh, button number eight. Now the clock starts. So um, to rotate the player, we just have to um, press enter or left, right arrow, it doesn't matter. And to enter the point, you would press, say, 1 for the red ball. And say, 4 points for the brown ball. So you see what I'm doing here? It's very simple. Six. Press 1 and then the color ball. And when he finished the break, you will enter, enter, enter. So you don't have to come close to the computer to operate pro score. With this remote control, you can do this amazing thing quite easily. Okay, now, um, I mentioned about entering the total breakpoint without, you know, uh, clicking on individual pots. And uh, to do it on a remote control, you press this button. It goes back to the same breakpoint screen and I enter the total, which is, let's say, 21. Two one, and enter. Twenty-one. So this is like an alternative. It's just you know, uh, an easier way for some people who prefer to add the total break points when the break is finished. Now to um, end the frame, we would also we can do this by uh, we can do um, this button here. Yep, and that will take you to the frame information screen, like we, what we saw before. And um, to confirm, we press the green button, but on the remote control, 
we have to find that green alternative. So the green is free prompts, right? So we pre actually press the free button on this remote control. And that would end the frame. So Matthew Steve got two frames. And now we are into the third frame. So this is how you use the remote controls. And there are a lot more functions that I can't cover in this video. But uh, it's just give you a taste of what it's like using ProScore. And on other videos, we will go through like the manuals and other things. Um, but this video, I'll try to stay basic and easy. So um, this should be enough for most people who just want to have a game and to score with ProScore. If you have any questions, drop me a line and I'll try to answer as soon as I can. Bye.